tell me, how, you, you, uh, how old are your boys? 14 and 18, but any time now, 15 and 19. Okay. <laughs> so how did uh, having kids change your life? Oh, it changed everything. This is a, a vast subject that I'm trying to um, make peace with. I think as a woman, uh, you have a baby and you come home with that baby and it's like the way I lived it. You're not prepared and your wings are clipped and what could have been isn't gonna be in some aspects. Oh, dramatic. I mean, uh, the ch my children, my, I have a son and a daughter. You know, I, 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 I didn't have a notion of what it is to be a father until I started, uh, you know, interacting them with them in French daycare, high school, soccer games, and uh, it was an enormous interaction. I mean, uh, I became their friend. Um, Emmanuel was raised with my mom, which is an amazing thing. I was raised by her mother in New York. So it's kind of very special because when you have your grandmother in your life, you really learn certain values. And, um, you know, I used to remember Emmanuel, uh, people coming up to me, and especially in school, and saying, oh my God, your son is so polite. But, I mean, I don't think it was from us as parents. I think it was more my mother instilling all the values and the religion. I think they, they got indoctrinated subliminally, both by me and my ex-wife, about their general politics, about the world. And I think we had children when I was 34, so it was already at an advanced stage. It was, my, my political notions had already advanced enough for them not to acquire insane views about life. Now, today I do, sometimes I do circles and I'm surrounded by younger, again, beautiful, bright women. And they're on the verge of having the kids and I'm just dying to tell them, you know, set yourself up in a community of women that's going to be there for you because when I had my kids, I remember sitting there breastfeeding, tired, you know, with a sense of isolation. It takes a lot of energy just to like wrap your kid up in clothes, get yourself in clothes and get out and out where in a mall. I mean, you see that all the time. It's so sad. No, I think uh, responsibility became very critical. Disappointments also, you know, my son didn't want to uh, go into much for higher education. And, you know, being of an immigrant mindset, you know, it's uh, it, you, you don't want to admit it, but it's a disappointment. But at the same time, I realized that he was so smart about so many other things that it didn't really matter. But typically, it, it was a process that I had to go through. Yeah. I, I found uh, both of them influencing me rather than my, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I really would ask everyone out there who is on the brink of having this experience of parenting children to completely reinvent the wheel. Find your community. I think men need support. I think women need support. I might be wrong. Perhaps in the old system, one would rely on family and parents for support. I think that things are moving along really fast. And I think with every wave of born children and growing uh, individuals, there's so much potential for magic. So I think any set rule is confining very rapidly. So allow yourself to change and, and, and look and seek your way and then reach out and put it in action. I think it's the best thing.